everyone, this is Mark from MrHurricaneTracker.com. Currently watching what was left over of Tropical Depression Alex. Now nothing but a bunch of showers and thunderstorms that are moving into Central Texas and also into South Central Texas, including San Antonio and Austin and further north. So we're going to continue to watch these storms as they move northward and uh, see exactly where they go. In fact, I believe they're going to go northwestward into the Texas area. There may not be any cause of any trouble at this time, but no severe weather has been indicated. We'll continue to watch these storms as they move on through. Something new we have to also talk about, which is in the extreme northeastern Gulf of Mexico, with showers and thunderstorms building up in this area and this region, there is a, a slight chance, 10% chance at this time from the National Hurricane Center, that this storm could develop into a subtropical or depression within the next 48 hours. So we're going to continue to watch this storm system and it is moving west as it could affect the Texas area once again. So we're going to continue to watch the storm system and see exactly what's going on and what happens and bring you the up-to-date information as it comes in. Also currently we're watching storms and that, that are moving across the Caribbean Sea. These storm systems are developing into very large, very huge actually I should say storm systems and the National Hurricane Center has not said anything about this yet but we'll see if there's any update as we go on through the next couple of days. Once again, watching the storm system in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico to see if there's any possible development. As of right now, again, the National Hurricane Center says only a 10% chance, which it could increase in the next two days. So we're also watching off the South African coast. There are some showers and storms that are moving off the area. We'll continue to watch that as well in the next 14 hours and bring you the up-to-the-day information on that as well. If any development occurs, we'll let you know. Please don't forget to check out MrHurricaneTracker.com and visit that website. You can click on live tracking. You'll see there's two radar systems for the eastern and the Atlantic area that are monitoring those areas 24 hours a day. So please stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.com and right here on YouTube.com slash MrHurricaneTracker. Once again, please don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. Check out our Twitter page at Twitter.com slash Hurricane Source. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.